Hey everyone, my name is Robin Solnenko and I'm your SharePoint Online Instructor. This is a video from my SharePoint Online Site Owner course. Did you know that SharePoint comes with its own support ticketing system? A lot of people didn't and it's called Issue Tracking. This short video will guide you through adding the Issue Tracking web part, customize the settings and even add custom columns so that your users can submit support tickets through the system instead of sending you direct emails. Thanks again for checking out the SharePoint Online Owner Course videos and we'll see you on the other side. Welcome back everybody to this topic where we discuss issue tracking. And what this is, and it's a little golden nugget actually within SharePoint, a lot of people were not aware that SharePoint offers its own built-in ticket support system. So if you have, uh, you know, if you're about, you know, a couple hundred people and you want a ticketing system for problems, people can come to this issue tracking, submit their ticket to you, and you can get back to them and resolve their issues. And then you have a list that's maintained with all the issues that people com don't not complain about, but <laughs> want you to fix. So things like my mouse is not working or I don't have access in SharePoint. So instead of getting emails with these problems, you can push them through SharePoint and it still gets sent to your email, but you can collect more information here within SharePoint. And so SharePoint calls it issue tracking, but it is a ticket support system. Okay, so let's create one. Let's go up to your gear in the corner, go up to your add an app again, classic experience again, and scroll down is towards the bottom, uh, I believe. Yeah, there it is, issue tracking. So click on your issue tracking here. And we will call it support tickets, <clears throat> like that. Click create. And again, where is it here? There it is, support tickets. When I click on it, again, it looks like, you know, any other type of list that we've been creating. But let's just snoop around to see what the fields are. So this time we're going to go over to the gear and go into list settings. And let's see what it's expecting it's going to ask things like title, assigned to, issue status, priority, description, category, if you want to categorize your uh, problems, uh, due date, related issues, okay? So let's modify a couple of these. The um, issue status, if I click on that, let's see, you currently see it's active, resolved, and closed. If those are good for you, uh, that's fine. You can leave them. This time you can see we are leaving a default because every one that gets created is automatically active, but you could change the other options if you so desire. That's okay to me. I'll cancel that. Let's do priority. Click on priority. You can see here a one, two, and a three for high, normal, low. Uh, this time I'm just going to get rid of these numbers. So I'm going to do that. So just high, normal, and low. Default is normal. Just change that here, normal. Okay, click OK. What else do we have here? Categories. Okay, so here's your categories. So we might want to change these to software issue, hardware, or maybe it's an email issue. Okay, uh, and I know it would fall under software, but maybe we want a more specific option for them as well. Okay, default, and this one we're gonna have no default on that one, and click okay. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, we don't have, let's add in, I'm gonna create a column, and I'm gonna put uh, your name, and it's going to be a single line of text. We actually have not created one of those before. And uh, looks we do want that required because we do want your name in there. And that's good there. And we'll do one more. Uh, create a column, but this time we'll call it your email. Because I know I can look it up, but I want them to type it in. Again, it's a single line of text and I'll require it. Click OK. Perfect. Okay, now let's just take a look at 
the views, the default view is all issues. So if I click on all issues, what's it gonna show me? Issue ID assigned to, status, priority, due date, your name, perfect. It's gonna add all those in, good. I'll cancel that. Okay, let's get back to the front. So I'll click on support tickets up here and it'll take me back here. And again, I can just push this down a bit. And there's, oh, perfect, there's my name, your email. All right, so we still have one more thing to do yet because even though this is a ticket support system and it should automatically email, that feature of emailing is not uh, defaulted to yes. So we need to do one more thing. We need to go up to the gear, list settings, go to the advanced settings, and right here, the second option down, send email when ownership is assigned or when an item has been changed. And we wanna say yes to that. Okay, so need to turn that on. And then you can click uh, okay at the bottom here and then come back to your support tickets and now you're ready to use it. Now I will uh, just note, because I've used this before, the email does work, but it does take a few extra minutes than you may be used to. So uh, we won't actually have time to get the email and show you, because uh, it does take extra time. Not sure why that is, if it's going through to the Exchange server, it takes a little, bit, a little bit of a lag time, but that is just the fact. All right, so let's create a new ticket. So we click on new up here, uh, enter your title, something like maybe my mouse quit working, assign it to, I'll assign it to one of my student accounts. And you know, is it active? Yes, priority, uh, not really a high priority. Description, mouse quit working, and I restarted. And still nothing. Okay, category, it's gonna be a uh, hardware issue, no related, you can put extra comments in. Ah, if you get it fixed by next year, we're doing good. Okay, enter name, your email, and that's it, no attachment. You could put a screenshots if you had those. Click save, and there it is, okay? So in a, you know, a few minutes, the student would get an actual email with all these details in it. Meanwhile, the, uh, you know, the user, your employee, can see the ticket's here and it's active. And like anything else, you can create more columns and more views if you so desire. Okay, so that's the issue tracking system that comes with, with SharePoint. It's very useful for smaller uh, companies you don't have to purchase a large package or anything. And that is all we have to say about that. So we'll see you in the next topic where we now discuss surveys.